Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Aries. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for the second half of your June from the 16th to the 30th. Um, so we're going to take a look at over energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Um, so this could be with anyone past person, current person, future person, um, apply this to your own unique situation, uh, switch the rules if you want, keep in mind that these are general messages, uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind, uh, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, um, Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Okay? What do we have for Aries regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Aries? Two of Cups. Okay. Seems like you're dealing with someone where you have a very strong soul connection here with. This is a soulmate connection. Okay. All right. You know, the Ten of Swords. Wow. Seems like there's a, there's a relationship that's closing out. It seems like, you know, it could be a situation where there's some differences between you guys and you guys are not in alignment or in agreement with each other. Um, let's see what else we have here. You know, the Five of Wands. and the, Yeah, you see there's conflict here. Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. There's arguing, there's fighting, there's jealousy. You know, there is, you know, loneliness and insecurities. Uh, there's just a lot going on here. Uh, what else do we have here for Aries? Okay, so we have the hangman and the four of pentacles. So there is someone here that's just not giving to the connection. This connection could have stalled out, okay? It's just... You know, someone here might not be taking a lot of action or, you know, with the four of pentacles, this could be an indication that someone here has nothing to give, okay? Someone here is keeping a lot to themselves. Um, you know, maybe both of you guys are doing that, but, uh, you know, like I said, apply this to your own unique situation. Piscean energy with that hangman right there. Tell me about the uh, two of cups. We have the knight of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with the Pisces here, Aries. Talking about the Ten of Swords. Okay, and then we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, I feel like there's a lot of love in this connection here, but I feel like someone here is giving it more than someone else here. Like, I feel like someone here, someone's giving and someone who keeps taking. You know, because that Four of Pentacles energy is someone here, someone who accumulates. You know, that's the miser of, uh, of the whole tarot deck. This is a person that collects, okay? Um, tell me about the four, five of wands. You know, the three of cups here. It seems like there are other people involved that's getting uh, involved in this connection that's causing uh, uh, you guys to argue, fight, and separate. So it seems like... I, I feel like it's a situation that someone here is airing out their dirty laundry to people and people are getting involved by speaking up or giving their opinions, okay? And I feel like these opinions are affecting your relationship instead of hearing each other out. Um, tell me about the Five of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. The Hangman. We have the Death card. Yeah, um, Four of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, so the Ten of Cups. It just seems like this, the, you know, I just feel like this connection is just not really happy because I feel like a lot, like I said, I, I feel like a lot of people are getting involved. There's a lot of fights happening here. Um, you know, I feel like the, the the relationship, the dynamics is shifting. It's shifting to the point where someone here does not want to give to this connection and someone here wants to run away. With the Knight of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio energy with that death card. 
Yeah, I just feel like someone here wants to. Yeah, I just feel like someone here feels like they're wasting their time and they want to walk away. So either you're 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 wanting to walk away from this, or your person, or maybe both of you guys. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Aries for June, for the second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aries. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups that jumped out again. Yeah, there's just a lack of peace. There's a lack of balance here. Now, maybe there are family members getting involved because they don't agree with your relationship. Yeah, maybe someone, uh, you know, maybe th th this family thinks that, you know, someone here is poor and that someone here deserves better or something like that. Okay, so, um, you know, I feel like, you know, maybe someone's family has a lot of opinions about someone, uh, about who they date or who they marry or who they settle down with. Eight of Cups in Temperance, just, there's just a lack of balance here. And I feel like someone here knows that, you know, this connection is just not going to work out because there's so many other people involved. Like I said, I feel like someone here is, like, not talking to their partner, but they're talking to other people about it. Okay? And that I feel like that's what's causing the rift. Uh, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Okay, we have the King of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, we saw the Justice card before. I feel like this could, this could be a same-sex couple. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, so I feel like this person, this King of Swords, feels like they're wasting their time. Okay? Uh, the Moon and Judgment. So Cancer, Pisces energy, Sagittarius energy with that Judgment card. It seems like someone here is having an awakening. Yeah, someone here is having an awakening that it's time to move on. Because, uh, yeah, I literally, like, I keep feel like, I keep hearing waste of time, waste of time, waste of time. Tell me about this, uh, I'm just going to make them jump. Tell me about this King of Swords. Yeah, we have the Two of Swords here. Someone here is extremely guarded now. Someone here has their walls up. Someone here is like blocking someone out. Like I feel like we have someone here that does not want to deal with someone anymore. The uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Fool in the Reverse. So, so I feel like this King of Swords feels like someone here is really foolish. You know, someone here takes... Uh, someone acts before, you know, someone doesn't think before they act. Or that someone here can't, does, can't think for themselves. Or that this person takes a lot of risk or just makes a lot of foolish, de foolish decisions based on fear, maybe, based on fear of losing, you know, family. Uh, perhaps, you know, your person, uh, this family supports your person financially and if they continue to be with you, you know, they'll cut the cut this person off. The moon. Two of pentacles. Judgment. Six of pentacles in the reverse. I just feel like someone here realizes that they don't want to beg for someone's attention. Or someone here is realizing that they don't want to be juggled. I do feel like someone here is definitely facing their fears about letting this go and moving on. Because I feel like someone here stayed longer than they should have. Okay? Outcome and advice here for Aries regarding their life situation for the second half of their June from the 16th to the 30th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What else does Aries need to know here? We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Kings of Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords. It seems like there is a third person here. So I don't know if someone here is trying to arrange, you know, their perfect person for their, their person here, but it, it just seems like 
there's just a lot of stress and anxiety surrounding this. You know, maybe this queen has to make a decision between this king and this uh, these two kings here. Okay. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We have the Empress here and the Emperor. Okay. So I feel like these could be parents that are getting involved here. Because it seems like there's something that's just not changing or things are not uh, uh, moving along here. Things are... Uh, but things are stuck. It could be a situation that one parent approves of this connection and then the other parent doesn't. Okay? And, you know, I feel like this, this emperor could be very controlling, a bit narcissistic. Maybe someone here has a narcissistic parent or narcissistic parents. Uh, Queen of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. Wow. There's a lot of lies and deception happening here. Seven plus three is ten. A connection is definitely ending here. Eight of Swords. This is really heavy energy, by the way. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, and then the Nine of Swords, and then we have the Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. We have the World. This is definitely coming to an end. Someone here might not want this to end, but I feel like th this has to end because there's just so much chaos going on here. Justice in the reverse. Like, I feel like someone here is not learning their lessons here either because, like I said, I feel like someone here is, has been in this situation longer than they should have. You know, I feel like with the Justice card in the reverse, you know, I feel like this is unfair. The Empress. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, we have some true pairs here. King to the Queen of Cups, King to the Queen of Swords. And then the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone here wants to find someone else for your person. Because I feel like there are par these parents don't approve of the person that you're with, Aries. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like someone here is about to walk away from the situation. Some here rather just withdraw from this right now and end things. So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.